Hi, thanks for checking out glyconutrients. What are they? What do they do? Where do they come from? Why do you need them? I'm a big, big, big fan of glyconutrition. Um, I have Lyme disease, and the first time that I started juicing or doing smoothies, I added glyconutrients to that mixture, to that base, and I was basically good the next day. Um, and I don't blame that on glyconutrition. I blame that on like the power of nutrition, you know, and juicing your fruits and vegetables. So from that day on, I've always been a huge fan of smoothies. And you know, my ten cents is if you want life, then you have to put life in you. If you want to feel alive, you want to feel vibrant. If you want life, then you have to put life in you. So over the eight or ten years now that I've been taking glyconutrients. Um, I've learned a few tricks. I've learned a few players. What is a glyconutrient? Uh, there's really no such thing as a glyconutrient. What we're talking about here is cells. What do cells communicate with? How do your um, cellular colonies communicate with one another? How do the killer cells connect to the to the memory cells, for example? How do the T's connect to the the whys. How do, how do the reds talk to the whites? Like, how does all these cellular uh, macrophages, how do all these colonies do it? And they all kind of talk differently. So, you know, the concept is it's kind of like this. Your, 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 your cell chain is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like an alphabet, for example. And if you don't eat well, if you don't eat correctly, if you don't have all the glyconutrients, all the the, the essential sugars that are found on the planet, if, if you're not eating them at the same time, then basically your cells are communicating with one another at like A, B, C, J, 5, 3, 9. They're, they're not actually speaking the same language, so to speak. So when you take a, a glyconutrient, so a glyconutrient is really a food source that your body breaks down into a sugar. So there are special foods that break down into the eight sugars. And the concept is, if you would put those eight sugars in your mouth all at the same time, then your cells would finally communicate with one another. So you'd go from this to this. So the concept is you wouldn't catch colds. Your immune system would serve at its highest and best use. You would function well. You would think, well, your hair would grow well. Um, so what are uses for glyconutrients? Can you take them orally? Uh, absolutely. You can, they're food, so you take them orally. Can you, um, can you buy them in a powdered source? Absolutely. You can buy them in a powdered source. Can you take the powder and throw it in a smoothie? Absolutely. Can you take the powder just in a power and, and take it and use it on your face as a mask? Absolutely. Can you use it as a, as a toothbrush? Absolutely. Can you put it in your hair? Absolutely. So those are the ways that I do it anyhow. I use it like as a toothpaste a lot. Um, I put it in my hair um, probably once every 15 days or so, 10 days or so. You could do it every day. It's not going to hurt you. Um, I'm just lazy. But when I'm on a regiment and I do it like let's say for three months and I do it consistently for three months my hair gets real wavy almost turns like another color um, grays just kind of disappear I'm almost 50 years old so my skin does not look like a 50 year old skin and my hair doesn't look like a 50 year old's hair I don't dye my hair or do any tricks like that I don't have to thank God uh, and, I, and I, I blame that on glycos to be honest with you um, not the nutrition glycos because my, you know, hair, everybody's dying to have great hair. I've got good hair. I've got good hair from using glycos. So where can you buy glycos? Um, I kind of pulled a bunch of websites for you. So herbistat.com has glyconutrients on sale. And you have kelp. The ingredients are kelp, fenugreek, shiitake mushrooms, psyllium seed husk, shark cartilage powder, aloe vera, whey protein isolate. Those are your um, glyconutrients. 
So kind of to recap, the way I do um, my glycos is that I put them in a, let's see if Hermistad kind of says it here, yeah, example of a smoothie. So what I found is, this is kind of interesting, so hopefully you stayed with me this long. Herbs, glycos, nutrients, whatever you want to call these things, are, they're all in a powdered form. So things that are in a powdered form are dead. They have been, you know, literally removed from the source. They are no longer connected to the vine. So if you're, if you're a biblical person, uh, you get in trouble when you're not connected to the vine, for example. So these food sources are not connected to, their, to the vine, to the food source that made them, right? So they're dead. I don't care how you say it, they're dead. So we all need a power greater than ourselves to activate us. A dead battery cannot charge another dead battery. A dead battery needs a power source greater than itself to jump in, meaning a, a battery that has life in it. Those the cells, they call them cells literally in a battery, they have they've got power in them, right? So what you do is you take living fruits and vegetables, so bananas, apples, mangoes pineapples uh, with some yogurt if you want with some with some spinach if you want with a lot of honey and then you take a couple what I take is a couple I use a herbistat nine times out of ten the prices are unbelievable so I'll take uh, pinches or half a teaspoon dump it in my blender with pineapples and anything basically in a blender but what happens is, this is what I found out over the years, the difference between taking it with like just oatmeal or the difference between taking glyconutrients in the powder form in that dead form and putting it in yogurt and mixing it up and eating it. I don't feel the same as when I take it in a living, you know, living, breathing apple, orange, some, some, something that has cell structure that's still living. And I put the living fruits and vegetables in a blender and then take the powder and drop that in that cell structure that's alive activates those dead herbs and then you get what you're looking for you you get finally you get cellular communication that's insane like insane you don't your fingernails are hard as a rock your hair is healthy can't get a comb through it healthy I mean it's just powerful thick hair you, you literally have trouble combing it um, so there are some other uh, good herbal companies out there, but you can probably start here. You can go to, I found that Bing has a really good search. If you go to Bing and you put in glyconutrients or the essential sugars, that's what you're gonna wanna find. So Bing has a better search that I found. Uh, so if you go to bing.com, obviously, and you put in um, you know glyconutrients or the eight essential sugars, they've got an, a, a so that's so um, advertising all the people that pop up, all the websites that pop up are legit versus like just a bunch of spammy, you know, websites that uh, are out there for, you know, clickbait to advertise other things. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.